So, I'm on 250 souls, and I need 741 souls to um, level up. And I'm going to focus on strength so I can wield the Zweihander, which is yeah. the weapon that I got previously from the um, Boneyard. Mm. And also I picked up, you know, the mace and all those sort of, I guess, multiplayer items you said. Yeah, the um, mace is mainly used for killing... Um, killing a guy called Havel, because he has such high defence and everything, the best way to kill him is to make him bleed. Mm. But we're Havel. not going get to get to him for a while, so it's fine. Okay, you tell me when I need to whip that thing out and crush his head or whatever. Um, yeah, so strength and also dexterity, that's what I need to work on. Strength and dex to be able to equip the Wise of Wyhender, because cool. it's they're like that's not the like, most logical thing to do at the start of the game would be most people is focus on decks and like maybe maybe do a bit towards uh, like your carrying capacity that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really important that you see if the Zweihander has the move set that you like because we don't want to like um, yeah. focus on your character using it and then you use it and you hate it. We I'm want to I'm be able to work out what weapons you want to use as like as yeah. early on in the playthrough as possible. Makes sense. Um. I think I'm going to focus on basically getting 800 souls and also trying to get to the Minotaur. So that's my objective, like a personal objective, as there are pretty much no objectives in the game. Yeah, I mean, getting to the Minotaur, from, this, yeah. it might be a couple of episodes till we get to the Minotaur, but I think uh, getting 800 souls and getting ourselves a bit mm. deeper into the game to the next bonfire yeah. is completely it's, doable. It's not, a, it's not an objective, an achievable objective uh, it's kind of a, an objective in the meantime. It's kind of okay. something that I'm that I'm cool. heading for in on the greater view of things, you know. And when you get to that minotaur, you'll be able to say, "Yeah, I got to a checkpoint," and then he will yeah. punch you in the face, and oh, all shit. your bones will shatter. Oh um, shit! I think that um, yeah, that will happen, but it's it's an obstacle that I'm going to have to deal with when I get to it. So, yeah. In the meantime, I'm just going to get you know my 800 souls. So, uh, oh, shit's on it. right, I'm gonna, even though I'm not playing the game with you, yep. I'm gonna say that um, I'm just gonna walk through the areas just so I can tell you when you get to an area what the secrets are, or if there are any secrets there, that kind of thing. Okay, so you're so a, just, a voice from beyond. Yeah. So I'm currently, uh, I've beaten all the guys um, at the bottom of the stairs, so now I'm heading up onto the stone bridge. Whoops, I accidentally used humanity instead of an est Estus flask for a, a noob play. That's fine. It's like you forget to switch back to it yeah. after you kindle a bonfire and that kind of thing. So if there's anybody shouting at me, I hear you. That was a <laughs> stupid thing to do. <laughs> okay. You know this... Uh, oh, this I keep on calling it a bridge. But you know, just outside the... Uh, The Firelink Shrine. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's all these souls and things to get. Shall I jump? Shall I jump that? Do you think I can make that? You you mean to the... You mean jump... Well, there's the bridge and then there's the bit yeah. underneath. You can make it, um, but practice jumping a bit before you do, because I find it a bit tricky. Like, I'm gonna, you have okay, to be running, and then you have to, to tap B while you're running. Oh, just made a, another mistake. Oops. Sort of let go and then press it. Yeah. Again. I think I can handle this. Okay, cool. I'm going to make the jump with you, just to show good faith. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Oh no, I'm not going to jump yet. Basically, I, I, I was talking about these killing these uh, undead. Oh, they're being a pain in my backside. Oh yeah, they do that. They, um, they're not, like, the undead here aren't as a, as a big a pain as, as some of them. But, um, yeah, they are a pain. They're just... Cannon fodder, well, not cannon fodder, sword fodder at the moment. Sword fodder, you can you, you can get yourself a dragon slayer great bow, and maybe they can be cannon fodder. Yeah. Dra dragon slayer great bow with exploding exploding arrows. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, exploding. You can get poison arrows, can't you? You can get poison arrows. You can get flaming arrows. You can get arrows which adjust for your like intelligence instead of your dex. There's lots of things. Um, there's also um. I think, I think you can get those on demon souls. The the poison arrows. Mm. I seem to remember something like that. Uh, I did think, I did I did get to this point when I did the playthrough on uh, PS3. Mm. 
be wary of projectile. That's sort of a message here. Yeah. Be wary of left. Everything's be wary. Yep. It sounds like your players around you are a lot more helpful than me. I haven't seen any messages in a while. The last message I got was, look what I did from somebody who managed to glitch the game and managed to jump onto the tree at the start. Oh, these souls. I thought it would take a much longer time to get that amount of souls. But I'm already on 770, so... Yeah. I thought, I thought it would take a longer time than it has to achieve that. Ah, oh, you're fine. You'll, you'll be able to get there pretty quick. Like they, The big guys in armour give about 80 souls and the little guys give about 50. It's, I'm going to be honest, it's not as hard as I thought it would be. I guess at this point. Oh, my friend, this is Dark Souls being kind to you. Ah. So I've basically got... Soon the shit will hit the fan, basically. The Taurus demon, is, which is the demon we're going to face next, is probably... is one of the bosses where it's li almost literally holding your hand. Like, the gargoyles, it tells you repeatedly, do this with Solaire, because just before you get there, it's like, let's be friends. And he's like, if you see my summon sign, let's do this. And there are two gargoyles. Mm. Um... So it's basically telling you to do it with a friend. Oh, I see. But uh, but I thought you said um, people rave at this game and say, you know, it's a game you're supposed to play. The, but the on game single itself player. is designed for that first fight because it is so hard. Like it's hmm. designed to be played with two people. I see. Well, I don't care if it's supposed if it's uh, if it focuses on one player. We're doing two player. And yeah. I think I think that's it's, it's you know just so you have a companion for the adventure you know. Oh, oh yeah, shit. It just makes it more fun. Play uh, the game how it's a fun huge for you. Dragon just flew over me. When I I'm oh wait on top wait, of wait wait wait. Oh you're you're up there already, dude. Uh, I'm a bit behind you. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, I'll basically have to imagine. You've a, yeah. also missed some stuff. What's that? You know that fog door you just went through. Fog door, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, go back through it. And I did see a thing where I have to drop down. I didn't... Yeah. If that you crawl through the barrels and drop down. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, there's a, a thingy there. If you, Large um, soul of the undead. Yeah. Okay. So that's, I'm with so, you. Yeah. So if you just follow this, you get a soul, and you also get some rubbish to give to Stungley, I think. Most people say that this is one. Oh, I hate this. They're uh, like, you only get rubbish for coming down here. Rubbish is actually a really useful item because Snugly loves rubbish. The um, undead always take a swing at you with their last sort of breath. Like you, um, well, some of them yeah. do. You try when well, you like try and um, you try and take it out, and you like both take each other out at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably going to happen at some point. Yeah. They always it think. Is, but you like, just, no oh, shape. wicked! You can just whack them off the sides. That saves yeah, time. Yeah, I was doing that as well. That's that's brilliant. Like, because it's like, I hope he hasn't seen me. I'm clinging onto the edge. Oh, he saw me. Yeah, unintended suicide. Yep. Cool. Um, is there yeah. anything else up here? Other yeah, than once you get up to the top. Um, you get uh, some solid humanity, and believe me, you may think you have a lot now, but you burn through that stuff so quickly. I can see a guy sort of draped over the edge uh, in like a corridor, but I didn't reach him. I get, yeah. I'll, I'll probably get in there at some point. You get, you do get in there at some point. I think that's a bit further along though. Mm -hmm. This must be the humanity. Yep, one humanity. Cool. And then you can just fall off the cracked bit in that bridge to get back to where. We oh yeah, okay. sweet. Oh shit, missed the guy. Guy was waiting for me. He's one dead. Yeah, they do climb up the ladder. That's something that I thought when I first played this game. Oh, they won't climb up the ladder. I'm safe now. You know, get the humanity, and you turn around, and you see like three guys, and you're like, oh, oh hi. How we are you were waiting then? for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't have to face that dragon at any point, do I? Mm, if you want to. I mean, he's optional. And he I don't think so. burns you. Hi, dragon. No. And, okay. You, the best thing to do with these I'm, I'm, guys oh, shit. Is, is, when you, is not to fight them and just run to the end, go up the ladder and touch the bonfire. They've done me in. 
Oh. Yeah. I should have been prepared for that. That was a stupid thing. No, that's cool. Okay. Shows you some cool items on the loading screen that you probably won't see for a very long time. Yeah, I mean, um, a few of them I've never even found because um, Dark Souls does do well at hiding its items and mm. like making a secret of its little things. But um, but at least we found the Swinehander. That's something that I probably wouldn't have seen uh, yeah. if I was playing this on my own. Like, just bashing my head against that skeleton area when I first played that uh, when I first started playing the game mm. is the reason I found that Swinehander. It was just I thought the game was meant to be that hard, so I kept playing it against the skeleton guys. For me, those skeletons are quite overpowered, and it, considering they're fairly close to the starting point. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're they're really overpowered where they are. Like, but it's I suppose it's they're meant to make you want to turn back. Yeah. I like the way the uh, everything that I've just defeated is is now back, and I've got to somehow get to my. Uh, I'm doing like, a little. I'm doing a little better now. Yeah, like Dark Souls, the experience level, weirdly, is a lot more with the player. Yeah. Like than with your character because you learn how to fight the enemy. Yeah. It's not. It's not an in-game uh, system. It's basically real experience. Well, you did play Demon Souls, so some yeah. of that's going to be coming back to me. Yeah, it's coming back to me. Hold on, there's a signal there. You watch, folks. By touch Bloodstain. I just touched Bloodstain. You get to see some of these die. Yeah. You get to see another player's death. He basically just fell off the side. Yep. It's so funny when they do that. Oh, was that the guy who swang and then swang and then fell off the side? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw that Bloodstain as well. Right. Oh. There's a, uh, I think there's a dead man just around the corner. So I'm gonna. Oh no. No. 